do a unboxing. I haven't ever done any unboxings on my channel. Picked up a Nixie clock on eBay. It was very cheap and it came from Ukraine. Unfortunately, he wanted me to sign for it, so I had to run to the post office to get the thing. Comes in this cool little wood box. The bottom's glued, the top comes off. And some paper, and I was kind of excited to get it. It was wrapped in um, string with a little bow and stuff. It's got a flipping unicorn on the top. It's retarded. Amber Nixie Light, Ukraine. So, what came in the box? Got a wad of paper, and then the box. So, I guess I'll do the paper first. So, what this is, it's a kit. And you build a Nixie tube clock, which is kind of cool because they look like vacuum tubes. So we have let's take it down. schematic, a pretzels, a very handy board layout that goes along with the pretzels, tells you what's what. A how to use it sheet and this looks like the three different types of Nixie clocks that the guy sells in 16 14 and 12 they're different shape Nixie tubes so yes came with a pile of paper that goes down here out of the box because this is fun so boom box Got their logo and junk. I'm gonna reuse this box for something. Inside the box. It's a black bag with a circuit board and some stuff. A CR1220 battery. That should be a backup because it is a clock. Packaging clock. Nice one box. Definitely gonna use that. And this would be the tubes. So let's go with the less fragile stuff first. Open this with one hand is open. Hopefully, I don't lose any of this crap, but here goes. I'm going to lose some of it. There goes a board. Two boards. Oh my. Okay. Pile of parts. We've got some surface mount. These are resistors. Tons of SMD resistors. That can go in there. Uh, what else is in here? It's kind of handy. They label it. C6 and C7 are in here. So these are surface mount capacitors. C2. Uh, D1, D2. These are diodes. Surface mount diodes. I'm going to have fun with my soldering station on this guy. Uh, what's this thing? T1. T1 must be a Terminator. This is the Terminator T1. That goes over there. Uh, T2, T7, 10. More of those things. Must be more Ts. These are all surface mount. There's a bunch of capacitors that are all surface mount little micro things. And more. Oh, this one's written with pencil. 0805 something. I can't read that. Can't tell what those are. You know what? This may be the LEDs. Huh. Alright, next thing we have the chip. This is a. So this it's a K155 N A1 8510 yeah socket and got a transistor in there this 
must be all for the power supply in there. And then another little chip that I can't tell what the hell it is. It's an Amtel. I cannot read this stuff. And it says ATT INY2313A something. And. Oh, that's definitely an LED in there. A little guy at the bottom. Huh, not sure. I'll figure it out. We have a neon lamp. These are kind of cool. They're actually neon bulbs. Couple buttons. Momentary. Single pull, single through. Couple of those. We have a capacitor. A couple of capacitors. These are not name brand. They're just something. And there's a couple more in there. All these things are unbranded. I'm sure they're just garbage. But they'll get me going. I'll change them later. And we have this funky looking thing. Oh, that's a power jack. So tiny. And it comes with the power plug itself, which you would solder wires onto it. And a couple jumpers here, like pin headers and stuff. Hmm. It's like a extension. Two of them actually, they're stuck together. This must be the board to board interconnect. And then we have Oh, this is the where the little battery goes. Uh, two boards. They are double sided boards. So you see the tubes would go on these. And then the back side, they even silk screen little markings. These are the board to board interconnects and then this would be the main board which is also double sided there's a lot of surface mount crap on here so interconnects laid out fairly well doesn't look too messy back side have a few traces here nothing too overly exotic there's lots of surface mount soldering oh boy I'm just sticking all this back in the box. I'm going to set this aside for a second. I'm going to pop these tubes out. Oh, these are pretty. Some this unwrapped. Check it out. Numbers in there. Set this somewhere, hopefully. Will it stay? Yes. Alright, check this out. Here's the money shot. It's a tube, not a vacuum tube. They call it a Nixie tube. Which is completely different. It says NH125-9205, so I'm guessing that's a date code 92nd week of 2005 maybe? These are just interesting the way they look. There's just layers of wire in there. Each one of those bent to a number. Pretty cool. So I got four digits, and then the neon bulb I showed earlier should be um, like between hours and minutes. It has a little digit right there. That should be what the neon tube's for. So that's my unboxing, and later on I will follow up with a picture of either assembly or completion, one or the other, depends on what I get to. But I found it on eBay. They are very cheap. Looks like a fun little job. And I 
this, you'll see what comes on next. If you uh, stay tuned to my channel, you'll see what happens to this thing. I have some plans for it, which could be a surprise, but I'm going to see if I can just get together and work in first, and then hopefully I can retrofit it into what I'm planning putting this into. Thanks, and uh, leave a like. If you have some questions, do what you want to do. Bye.